What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves an awesome team to showcase for you guys. We got ourselves a Zacian and Life Herb Kieran White team that's also featuring Hydreigon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please let me know what I have to do in order for you guys to subscribe to the channel because over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. That's crazy. That is crazy. 60% of my viewers are watching the Jeans videos without being subscribed. That hurts. That hurts a little bit. So if that's one of you guys, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. It only takes two seconds of your guys' this time. But like I said, today we're rocking out with Hydreigon. He's going to be absolutely super, super fun to use on the rank ladder considering he's off meta and nobody ever uses him. So going to be awesome. Going to be awesome. Plus, he's pretty strong to be honest. I used him a few times in the past and I really like uh, how he plays out. So cannot wait to showcase him in Series 12 and see how he works out here. But let's get started here with the team preview starting off in that top left corner. We have the one and only Regislecky. This thing has been a menace ever since it's dropped into this game. It's got Thunderbolt, E-Web, Screech, and Protect. Phenomenal moveset. We got Speed Control with E-Web and we also got Defense Drop. So, you know, any physical attacker after that is just going to be able to dump on the opposing Pokemon. Last but not least, we got that Transistor and obviously that Magnet as its item and ability. Right next to him is going to be our first restricted mod, which is going to be Kiram White with that Life Orb and Turbo Blaze ability. We got Blizzard, we got Earth Power, we got Hyper Beam and Protect. One thing I, I would change with this Kiram would be give it a Dragon move. Seriously, give it a Dragon stab move because A, he's Dragon type, and B, our Hydreigon doesn't even have a Dragon move. So we're out of a Dragon move. We do not have a Dragon move with two Dragon Pokemon. Isn't that crazy? But we'll see how this team works out. Hopefully we can grab some wins for you guys. Middle left is going to be our second restricted mod. That is going to be Zash. You can't go wrong with this guy. We got Interpret Sword. We got Rusted Sword. And then we're rocking out with the with the secondary moveset for him. We got the Iron Head, the Sacred Sword, Quick Attack for first turn priority, which works wonders because, you know, first turn priority moves are amazing. And then last but not least, we're rocking out with Protect. Right next to him is going to be Hydreigon. Hydreigon cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. Like I said, the reason I picked this team was because of this Pokemon. We got Levitate. We got Assault Vest as an item. He's Dark and Dragon type with a wonderful moveset of Dark Pulse for Stab. And then the other three coverage moves of Earth Power, Hyper Voice, and Flash Cannon. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our support mod, and that is going to be Indeedee over here with Synchronized Ability, not Psychic Surge. We're working we're working with some differences here. Usually, we got the Indeedee with the Psychic Surge, but this time, we're rocking with Synchronized. So, hopefully, we get to use that to our advantage. We got Safety Goggles as our item, and then we're rocking out with Fake Out, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Pretty much just an all-out support set for this Indeedee. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our defense bulk Ferrothorn over here. We got the Iron Barbs, long stop with that leftover size item with Body Press, Leech Seed, Iron Defense to set up that bulkiness, and last but not least, we're rolling with Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Zacian, Life from Kieran White, and Hydreigon team. Battle number one coming at you guys going up against a Zassy and the Shadow Rider Kylarx team. That combo is just deadly. Both Pokemon are super strong and super quick, so we got to watch out for both of them. He also has the Landers for Intimidates, Urshfu, who is still one of the best backhand Pokemons. And then last but not least, he's got the Regilecki and the Tapu. Um, how should we go into this one? I feel like Regilecki might be an absolute must here, but he might lead the Landers, which could be really, really good. It kind of scares me, not even going to lie. Landers does kind of scare me. We could go in with Ndidi. Could go in with Ndidi, but I'm liking Regilecki. Just for speed control, but then I feel like he's going to go into, like, Landris as a lead. Which could be tough for us, so that makes me want to lead a special attacker, such as... Kiram could be good. You got that ice move, it really counters up onto that, uh... Onto that, uh, what's it called? Onto that Landris, so, you know, we're going to go rolling with that. We're going to go with Hydreigon, and last but not least, we're rolling with Zacian. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one, but I do think he's going to lead a Regilecki as well, alongside with probably that Landris. That is exactly why I had to lead that Kiram, because, you know... If not, we're kind of we're kind of screwed. And I could always swap out my Regilecki for Hydreigon if he does have Landers. Because, you know, he'd probably be going for a ground shot, trying to hit up on my Regilecki, and I could swap it to Levitate and just dodge a move completely and then dump on it with an Ice Boob, which is four times super effective. But our opponent's taking a little bit of time to actually uh, pick a team, so I think he's struggling here. I think he's struggling a little bit. He's got three seconds left. Is he going to lock it in? Oh, no. I don't know. He might have locked that in. He might have locked that in. I think he got it. I think he got it right before the zero second, but we'll see. We'll see. The reason I say we'll see is because if he goes to like some whack combos, then we'll be like, okay, then he definitely didn't lock it in and the computer generated for him. Let's see who he's leading. Let's see who we talk about. There's going to be Regilecki. I feel like it's got to be Regilecki. It's Zacian and... Zacian and Urshifu. So he might have might have not have been able to lock in his combo. I don't know, unless this is what he wanted to do. So we're going to go in with these two. That's totally fine by me. I mean, Behemoth Blade is just super scary. 
could go into a quake. We could just dump on that. You dump on that. Uh, can we have quake rocking with him? I can go into e web here, and then I could I could go into a max quake and hope that this KOs. I think it should be able to. Right, I'm liking that. Because if we e web, we'll get the speed from the Zassian, and then my Kyrim can go next. So I'm definitely gonna Dynamax and try to get after Zassian. Because if not, yo, Behemoth Blade, whew, whew, it can do me dirty. It can do me so dirty. So I'm not trying to deal with it. I am not trying to deal with it. So we'll see how this guy plays this one out. We're gonna Dynamax here. Um, I don't think he's gonna Dynamax. I just don't see an Urshfu going for the Dynamax, but if he does, that's fine by me. That would be totally fine by me. We have the Zassian in the back end, which can work wonders. Oh, but Zassian isn't rocking a fairy move, which kind of stinks. Kind of stinks. We do have quick attack, which is nice. We do have our Hydreon in the back end with that Assault Pass, so hopefully he has some special attackers in the back end. We'll just see how this one goes. Is he going to Dynamax? He does not. He protects Zassian. Dude, I should just start, like, hard reading it, because, like, I feel like 75% of the time, Zassian's protect every time on the first turn, you know? I feel like that's always, always the turn. I think that is always it. So we're gonna rock out into this. Drop a nice little E-Web. That's some good old damage. That's some good damage. A nice Thunderbolt from Regilek. You could take him out next turn. Unless he takes me out here. We go for the Quake. We're gonna get this special defense boost. So, like I said, hopefully he's rocking some special attackers in the back end. And that's still doing a decent amount of damage. Another another Max Quake should be able to take him out. So, let's see. There's a nice little boost. And what's Urch from there? Close combat. Wicked Blow. One or the other into my Regilek, right? It's got to be one or the other. Wicked Blow into my Regilecki. Regilecki's probably going to drop out here, which which kind of stinks. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. That kind of stinks. And he gets a... Oh, it's guaranteed crit. I was going to say, and he gets a crit, but yo, it's guaranteed every single time. Okay, so from here, we're going to have to bring out our uh, Zastian of our own here. I think that's a must. I feel like that's a must. And let me see my Zastian speed stat. Because one Behemoth Blade will take out his Zastian, which I really, really like. Which I really, really like, so... Let's see this thing stats. If, if it's fully invested in speed, I feel like we should be fine here. Which it is not. It's pretty close to it. It's lonely nature. So we might not even be able to outspeed it. Hmm. Which I really want to. I really want to, but we're just going to go. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for this behemoth blade here. And I couldn't guard here. I'm thinking of guarding. I am thinking of guarding. I am actually really scared. I could slow him down with uh, some, some of that, but I feel like just going for my stab move here and drop us a buff. It's onto the field. I'm with it. Maybe I should have guarded. I think like guard it, guarding should have been our play. Just to protect us from that behemoth blade. Because we know our Zassian outspeeds Urshfu and our Kirin will outspeed Urshfu because it's minus one. But Zassian protected last turn and uh, dodged the E-Web. So let's see who goes first. We go first. Awesome. Yo, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. So his, his Zassian is not fully invested in speed. That's just beautiful. This should be able to take him out. No problem, right? Get him out of here. Beautiful turns by us. We get to dump on that Pokemon. We're going to be able to dump on Urshfu as well. And then we will still have one more turn left in our Dynamax, which is amazing. That's really good for us. That is really, really good for us. Life Orb Kieran White coming in hot. Coming in hot, baby. Get this thing out of my face. And we're going to set the uh, weather, which I don't really mind if my Zassian takes Buffets. It kind of just helps on my Kieran having the other team just trigger with some Buffets. And like I said, I really want some special attackers to come out here. Because if he could throw out some special attackers, we got A, a special defense boost on our Kieran, and then B, an Assault Vessel on our Hydreigon, who still hasn't came out yet. So let's see. Who is this guy rocking with? He's going to throw out first... Red Zeki, special attacker. Okay, I'm with that. And he still has Dynamax. Is it going to be Landorus? No, it's not Landorus. It's going to be another special attacker. Okay. I see you. I see you. Okay. Who do I take out here? Who do I take out here? Go for a quick attack. Both these guys outspeed me. Both these guys do outspeed me. I kind of just want to take out the Red Zeki. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna go for Behemoth Blade in the slot, into this slot. I just like he could protect, but it could also Dynamax. I'm just gonna take out him. That's gonna be my play. He knows I have Max Quake though. He knows I have Max Quake, so maybe I should just went into the Shadow Rider Calyrex slot and predicted a uh, protect coming out from a Regilecki. Well, he's gonna Dynamax. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Hopefully, it, I'm hoping it's Regilecki and he's not Dynamaxing. It's gonna be close because he can probably pick up a double kill. It is going to be Regilecki. Hopefully he's not guarding. That's what I meant to say. I, said, I meant to say, hopefully it's Regilecki and he's not guarding. Not, hopefully he's not Dynamaxing. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what he's going to go into. But Buffets are going to be good because he can take off all Focus Ashes. Max Lightning's going to fly through range. He's going to go after Zassian. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day because Zassian eats. I think Shadow Rider Calyx is probably going for an Ash Barrage. Which could do us dirty. 
which could definitely do us dirty but it's not gonna be able to take out my kieran which is wonderful ash Barrage just come out here he's gonna go plus one and we are going to drop this huge max quake he gets a crit on my wow onto my onto my what's it called onto my kieran and this is ko this could be a huge ko for us could be a huge ko just take out his dynamax turn turns into a 2v1 it does that's a huge ko our dynamax is over oh my lord and he, if he had sash it goes away Special defense boost. Whew, this is tough. This is real tough here. This is real tough because we have to bring out our uh, Hydra. We have to bring out our Hydra here. And Astral Barrage is scaring me. Because he is plus one. Buff is going to come out here. We just need to get one hit off of this. One hit. We have the Soul Vest. Dark is going to be super effective to him. He also has the Ghost. He also has that lovely little Ghost. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. I, have any, I don't think I have any first turn priority here. We're going to have to go for Dark Pulse here. And we are going to have to go for Blizzard. Blizzard's 100% hitting in this weather. And it is stab, but mm, it's kind of close. Astro Botch comes out here. Yo, someone eat this up. Someone eat this up, please. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you. Both will meet up. Beautiful, beautiful. I knew it was not very effective onto the Hydreigon. I just, you just never know with that thing being plus one, you know? We're going to drop a big old Dark Pulse. And Hydreigon comes in that back end and just dumps on that Shadow Rider Calyrex. That's GG's. Look at that battle number one going perfectly, and we end up walking away with the victory. Nothing's better than starting off a recording session with a big old victory and some double battles. There it is, guys, sitting at 1-0. Let's go back to back here in battle number two, going up against a Groudon and Xerneas Sun team. It also features Charizard, Amoogus, who, if I had to guess, has that Cobra Berry, and I don't think we have any flying moves, so that's totally good. That's good for us. And then he has the Porygon to set Trick Room, and then Intimidate and Fake Out onto the Incineroar. So, okay, I understand. I see him. I see what you're doing. Okay. Um, I feel like Groudon's going to... Groudon has to come in here. Because he has... Because we have Regilecki. We also have the... Uh, Zacian. That's definitely scary. So, I think we're going to have to bring in our Levitate Pokemon. That's going to be tough. We're going to have to get rid of Groudon. We're going to have to get rid of Groudon. Hydreigon might even be my lead here. Hydreigon could be the lead. Could be the lead. And we could actually lead Indeedee onto the... For the Synchronize. I don't like that. I don't like that. But, dude, I'm, I'm terrified here. I am terrified here. I feel like we have to lead you. I feel like we have to lead you. I feel like we have to go into... Hmm. I feel like we have to go into Zacian. This is real tough. This is real tough for us because that Groudon really poses a huge threat onto my Regilecki, onto my Zacian. It's just scary. It's just scaring me. And then I'm thinking if he goes into uh, Fake Out with Incineroar, he can just set up his Xerneas with uh, Geomance. But it's like, obviously the Xerneas is Geomance with the Power Hurt. And then with uh, Moonblast or Dazzling Gleam and then some other Protect. So that, that's definitely a scary option too. So we got to lead this just to kind of counter it in case he wants to go into Incineroar here. And he does not. He goes straight into Amoongus. And by going into Amoongus, we could... Oh, I could fake him out and just Behemoth Blade. Ooh, this could be good. This could be good because we got Synchronized rolling here. This could be real good for us. This could be real good for us. Hopefully he's not protecting turn one. Hopefully he's not protecting. He's probably sitting here like, yo, what's going on? This thing's Synchronized. Hey, yo, we're synchronized. I'm going to fake him out. And we're going to go straight into a behemoth blade here. Hopefully, he doesn't think we're rocking fake out. Because most Indeedees do not rock fake out. So, let's see what he's going to do here. This could be amazing. Hopefully, he's trying to go for Rage Powder and then into a uh, Geomance. He's going to straight up withdraw. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that all day. And he's going to go straight into Incineroar, which was a great call for a swap out here. Great call. We're still going to hit it with behemoth blade. And then I might swap out next turn. Might swap next turn. See how this one plays out. He could start Sporn. Spore is a terrible little thing. Behemoth Blade is going to fly here. Get after it, baby. Get after it. Yeah, hey. And how much damage are we really going to do? Just, just a little. Just a little bit. So great, great little swap from him. Great call by him. Great call by him. Okay, so from here, I could protect and swap. But I could go straight into like a helping hand. Go into a Sacred Sword. Behemoth Blade would be better if he goes for that. But I, I just see him trying to spore me up, right? I just see him trying to spore me up. So I'm going to go for the Helping Hand here. I just don't see the Rage Powder really coming out here. And he's going to go for the Fake Out. And, ooh, and, ooh, that's beautiful. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. Bob, take him out. Let's go. Let's go. That's a huge KO. That's a huge KO. Okay, so from here, he's going to bring back out Xerneas. And he's going to set up, right? This is terrifying. It, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. Right? If he doesn't go into that, that's huge for us, but... 
He's got it, right? He's got it. Yep. Back into the Xerneas. Looking real tough for us. Looking real tough for us. That's GG's, right? That's GG's, right? That's GG's, right? I could double swap here. I mean, I want to keep my uh, Incineroar out here. So, you know what? I'm just going to go for... I'm going to swap you. Get to Hydreigon. We have to waste out these turns at this point. We have to waste out as many turns as we possibly can. We have to waste out as many turns as we possibly can here. Because you know it's the Rage Powder into... Into... Whatever he wants to go for to the Geomance, hundred percent right, or just going for another spore. There's a Geomance. Tough dude. I I, like, I saw this coming after we took out that Incineroar. Geomance Xerneas is scaring me, and we need our our Zastian to to do this. We're gonna definitely need him to do this. Uh, I think we just have to let our Hydreigon go down here and just keep trying to go for Behemoth Blades. Am I saying just go for Dazzle Gleam and he's just gonna spore like come on man? God dang it, because we really have nothing to take out of Moongus. Like I'm thinking about it. We have the Kirum to do it, but at the same time, it's like certainly so out on the field, it's gonna be able to outspeed. It's gonna be able to roll out from there, so it's really, really tough for us. So come here. We gotta go for this uh We're gonna double down into you. We're gonna double down in Xerneas. And no one's gonna wake up, but it'd be like that. He's gonna Dynamax here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is scary. This is scaring me, dude. Everyone knows, like, Xerneas is, like, it's, like, in that weird category of good but not good. Like, it's good when you can get a setup, but then it's awful when you can't get a setup. So, he's in that category right now in this battle where it is going to steamroll me, dude. It is going to steamroll me, and I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's see how this one plays out here. Rage Powder finally comes out here. He's just going to sit here, and he's just going to bulk through some shots here. He's going to keep Rage Powder and get an air from me. He's going to go for Starfall. He's going to take out Hydreigon. Hopefully, oh no, he's going to stay for Zassian. That's totally fine. And, oh, ah, dang. That's some big old damage. That is some big old damage. That is some big old damage. And we're hoping, like, a Pokemon can wake up here. So we can do, deal some damage. We're asleep. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Pokemon are slumped. We are slumped. We are slumped. Let's go into here. Let's go into Behemoth Blade. And, I mean, no, we're gonna go into quick attack here. Actually, no, we're not. Maybe, just maybe, he goes in my Hydra on here, but we're just gonna have to keep doubling down the Xerneas here and see how this one plays out here. He's gonna go for Starfall. It's Zassin, okay. We should try to quick attack at least, but still, there's wasted two turns there. We just wasted two turns. I think we bring out Kiram and we could match. But I feel like our only way of winning this battle. Oh, he's gonna pile pump right How dare you! I feel like our only way of winning this battle is getting out Kiram. Dude, his special defense is bulked, man. It is bulked. We're sitting in the worst possible spot ever. Okay. Uh, we gotta guard, right? We have to guard. We have the max guard here. I'm still gonna go for this flash can here. And I'm just gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna have to max guard here. This, this is tough. This is like... This is L City here. And I saw this coming after we killed that Incineroar. I was like, oh no. Oh no, we're in trouble. After I killed that Incineroar, I knew we were in trouble. Okay, so we're going to try to find a way out here. We're going to max guard. We're going to hope that this, uh... We're hoping that this Xerneas comes into, you know, my Kyurem slot. If that's the case, we, we might have a chance here by dropping a flash gun. Even though he's plus two on special defense. Maybe we get a crit. We're definitely going to need it. Let's see how this one plays out here. He rage powders regardless. Real tough. Real tough news for us. What's he going for? Starfall. Does go into my Kyurem. That's a huge block for us. Can you wake up? Three turn sleep still. Three turn sleep still. We're just being done dirty. Okay. Uh, who's faster? Who's faster? Kyurem or... I, I mean, Hydreigon's dead regardless unless this thing's rocking Moonblast. I think we have to swap into Indeed here. Hydreigon wakes up next turn. We know that for a fact. And we're just going to drop a Hailstorm into you. Real tough. This is a tough, tough battle. 
What's he going for? Rage Powder. Is he Gleeman or is he going for a Moonblast? I'm curious about this one. I'm curious about this one. He goes for a Moonblast. Can we eat that? Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. Dude, that was my only hope. I was just like, yo, Kiram needs to be able to eat up a shot, but no, he does not. He does not. That's GG's now. That is 100% GG's. So my boy wakes up. I mean, I don't know if there's a shot here. There's no way. I'm trying to think of a way out of here. I'm trying to think of a way out. I mean, he's going to maybe protect. No way he protects. We're going to have to fake him out. Fake him out and go into a flash cannon. He might protect. This is our only way. Only way of actually winning here. He protects. God dang it. See, I was going to fake out and then like do a move onto the... Uh, on him, I mean, he double protects him. That's just a smart play. Just a real smart play. And yeah, it's over with. Unless, I don't think, we can't take out the Zerny as a one shot regardless. I'm still going to try. I'm still definitely going to try here. But he's going to put me to sleep anyway. But I'm just going to follow me. And then I'm just going to go for this uh, flash cannon into Zerny slot. <laughs> this is whack. This is whack. I saw this coming a mile away. We'll go for the follow me. We'll go for the flash cannon. There's just really no way out of this. Hmm. Hmm. Rage Powder comes through. Yeah. God dang it, dude. Guy's just toying with me. And he does have Gleam. He does have Gleam. So that's, that's, that's GG's. That is GG's. Brings my Indeedy down to 8. Saw it coming from a mile away. My only hope was if my uh, Kiram ate up that shot on the Moonblast. But it didn't. It didn't at all. But hey, at least we didn't get swept. And we're sitting at 1-1. One -on -one, so we can hop to our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. You guys know the deal. We have one win and we have one loss. And we're hopping into our third and final battle. So that means we got to pick up a win here to grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Yavelta and Kyogre team with, uh, I forget how to pronounce that name. Mincino? Something like that. Sounds like Cappuccino, I'm pretty sure. And then he has some Regilecki, uh, Landers, and Wimbiscott. So pretty cool he's using an off-meta Pokemon just like us. So it's going to be a good battle. It's definitely going to be a good battle. But I feel like Regilecki is just an absolute must here. But at the same time. Landers poses such a big threat. So I definitely want to lead Kiram. Kiram's just too good not to bring here. There's a lot of work. Plus, we could change up weather with this Pokemon. So I am digging him. I am digging him a lot. I could go. I'm thinking of going Reg Lucky, but at the same time, it's just like, dude, if he leads Landers, could be tough. Could be tough if he, if he leads Landers. So I'm going to bring Levitate you in the back. And I really want to bring Ferrothorn. But actually, we could maybe just not bring you. And lead these two. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me, yo. Let's rock out with it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get after it with these guys. Obviously, I feel like Regilecki would be better, but like you guys know, you guys know genes with certain final battles. We looked to have fun and we looked to uh, use like everybody on the team. So we're gonna bring Ferrothorn here and try to set him up and try to grab ourselves a win. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? You know what? I got this, yo. I'm guaranteeing you guys a victory here. Your boy Jeans got you guys. And if I win this battle, you guys have to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, but if you are, thank you guys. Thank you guys. He's going to go Cincino. I thought it was Minchino. That might be the first stage. I told you, yo, it sounds like Cappuccino. And I don't know what this Pokemon's going to do. And it's kind of scaring me. I'm not even going to lie. It's kind of scaring me. But I feel like from here, I should set up a Leech Seed and kind of just get rid of this. Uh... I could set up a Leech Seed and I could Dynamax. Thinking of Dynamax. Or I could, or I could bank on the Blizzard landing. I just feel like Dynamax is 100% reply. We're going to go here. We are going to Seed of the Leeches out here. He could taunt my Ferrothorn. It definitely could be an option here, but it'd be like that. I think he's going to set up maybe a Tailwind. And I don't know what the Cincino does. It's going to scare me. It's probably like rocking some crazy moveset that he has some crazy synergy with. And it's just going to do be dirty. But we're, we're just going to play like like we don't like like we don't know what it's doing. So we're just going to we're just going to roll out here with a nice little Hailstorm to take out this... uh. Scott. He's probably setting up Tailwind, right? Helping hand. What is this doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Rock Blast. And we dodge. That's that's just lovely. That's just lovely. We'll take that RNG all day. Okay, so Scott goes down here. Even if he sashed, because, you know, Buffets are flying out here. That's just... It's beautiful, so no Tailwind's allowed. And Leech Seed's gonna come out here. Can we land this Leech Seed, please? Let's go, Ferrothorn. I put my money on you. I brought you in here for a reason. I need you to land these attacks. Ferrothorn, my dude, setting up, yo. Let's get this thing bulked up. We got one seed in. We got one seed in. We are going to take buffets from uh, Hail, but we have leftovers and we have Leech Seed, so it don't even matter. It don't even matter. My boy Ferrothorn. 
Getting out of here. I could set up an iron defense here. Rock Blast is kind of scaring me, but you know, it is Rock Blast. It is Rock Blast, but I I don't see that taking me out. This thing's not Rock type, is it? I'm pretty sure it's just like normal, maybe Fairy? Let me see this thing's type. I do not know much about this Pokemon. Tiger's gonna come out here. Do I Leech Seed him? What do I do? I might change the weather back. I might change the weather back. What typing is this Pokemon? Yeah, he's just normal. <laughs> he's just normal. Um. Okay, from here I could go for a Quake and just get that special defense boost. Why am I play? Walk up the squad. Could lead seed him as well. I'm liking the lead seeds. I'm liking the lead seeds, dude. Battle was canceled, yo. Psh, we take those winning records all day. Easy, easy, easy. I'm kind of upset that our last opponent actually canceled battle because we were setting up the Ferrothorn and I just want to see the power of the thing. We were going to have double Leech Seed pestering around with leftovers over here and then we were going to protect and kind of just stall out and be annoying with the Ferrothorn because you guys know once Ferrothorn gets set up, it's pretty much GG's unless they can bring out a Pokemon that has fire moves. But in that case, he, I don't think he had any fire Pokemon and he had rain. So we were pretty much diving there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.